Hi guys, my name is Patrick, but you can call me 26. And what you're going to talk about today is Observable. Now, if you would like to see a complete project done using Observable from beginning to end, you can have a look at my full stack e-commerce application where we build this iStore app from beginning to end. Um, I have the first 12 hours of the 26 hour projects available on YouTube. If you want the complete project, just have a look at the description, right? Um, so now let's start talking about observable. Right. Now, the thing that we'd want to do first is we would want to create our observable class, right? Now it has to be a class for you to use observable. So we come here and we say at, and we use the observable macro like so, which was introduced in iOS 17. And we come here and we say class, and we're just going to call it VM, short for view model, right? And here, what we're going to have is going to be count and count is going to be zero right now what we could do to access it in another view like for example here in the content view we're going to put everything here we're just going to use a state variable so we come here and we say state like so and this is going to be var and here we're going to have vm and vm is going to be that right so vm is going to be that right and instead of an image here we could just come clean this out and we could have an, a button like so and the button is just going to be come here and we say increment increment like so and here what we're going to do is we're going to come here and we say we want vm dot count and we want to increment it by one right then we would like to display the text for the count right so what we could do here is we're going to have the we're going to use string interpolation and say count and come here do this and then just say vm dot count like so right so that's going to be that so every time we press the increment button now um, the count is going to increase, right? So what we could do is let's try it out. So we come to the canvas and we press, and you will notice that every time we press, the increment counter goes up by one. What we need to do is we need to see how we can use observable using parent and child views, right? So how we would do that is pretty straightforward. So let's just come here and we say something like, let's take this ability of incrementing it from the button, put it in its own view, and then call it from, um, put that view in this content view, right? So you could come here and we say struct, and this struct is going to be, um, let's see, increment button like so, and this is going to be um, a view, and we hit, okay, not a view test, but a view, a view like so, then we come here and we say we want var body like so, right? Now, what you're going to have here is we need to pass in the view model. So we could come here and we say var VM and VM is going to be a type of VM, which is going to be our view model. And what we would want here is to have the button. Now we can have the button. And for that, we could just come here and we cut this, right? Cut, cut this, cut this button and then put it here like so, right? Now, instead of uh, having the button like this, we could just call the VM.count, right? That's absolutely perfect. And then we need to call it here. How would we call it? We just need to pass in the increment button and it needs a view model and we just pass in the view model, right? Now, if we do that, um, if everything goes according to plan, if we hit this button, the the count is going to go up because it's still being called despite it being in a child view, right? So let's hit increment and you see that when we do this, the increment does go up, meaning that we can actually call access the view model uh, from the child view. And make our view model accessible to multiple views using the environment, right? So how we do that is pretty straightforward. First, we would come to the increment button. Let's go to the increment button. And what we want to do here is instead of passing it like this, we want to get it from the environment now. So we're going to come here and we say environment like so, and not the environment object, but here we're going to say vm dot self like so, and then you're going to say var vm, right? And then what we would want is the rest of it is going to remain exactly the same, right? And it's going to complain here because you're not passing in the view model. And what we want to do is do the same thing in the content view. Come here and we say, we want the environment like so. And here what we want is going to be the VM dot self, like, okay, dot self, like so. And what we would like is going to be var, this is going to be VM, right? And this is going to be okay right um this is going to be okay and now we can get rid of this state this state is not going to be here but it's going to be at the entry point of our app or wherever we want it to be right in this case we wanted to put it at the entry point of our app right so we could get rid of this state here and that's going to be that for now and then um what we would want is the increment button and here the now how we would deal with it is we would just call the increment button like so right and after we call the increment button like so now we need to go to the entry point of our app which is going to be this, right? So we go here and what we want 
is we would like to it's complaining because it can't find the environment what we want here is come and say state and here we're going to say var and we're going to say uh, vm and vm is just going to be our vm like so right so that's going to be our vm and then we provide it in the environment right so we come here and we say environment and not environment object we'll be talking about um objects in a bit and here we're going to pass in the environment vm like so right so now when we do that and we come back here and presumably um okay let's just try running it and see it in action right so the build has succeeded and it should work exactly the same we should be able to call it here and we should get it all through right if everything has gone according to plan give it a second see okay here it is right now if we hit increment presumably the count is going to go up right so we hit increment and the count goes up like so right so that works the thing we could do is we could um we could use bindings to directly change the mutable properties of the class right so how we would do that is let's come to increment right and how we would do that is come here and say we want uh, we want to change the count, right? And how we would do that is just come here and we say we want binding like so and this is going to be var count and this is going to be count is going to be a type of integer, right? Now what we would want next is we would come here and we would increment the count, right? So here we would increment the count by one. Of course, it's going to complain here, right? And what we need to do when we come back to our content view, we would have the uh, view model here but what we would want here is to create a, a, a bindable, right? And now for the bindable, you need to put it within the body. If you put it outside the body here, you're going to get an error, right? So we come here and we say at bindable, like so. And for the bindable, we want var vm, vm, and vm is just going to be the vm, right? Like so, right? So we do that. And after we do that, we would come here to the increment. And in the increment, um, we need an argument here so we could hit fix this is going to be give us count and what we would like to do here is just bind it come here do this and say bind it and say this is going to be vm uh, dot count right so if we do this uh, presumably we don't get any errors let's see if our preview can help us um, give it a second cross your fingers and if it can't we'll just launch it on the simulator right it's taking a lot of time so let's just launch it on the simulator proper okay let's just launch it on the simulator proper and see it and now we have increment let's see when we hit increment that goes up right and like i said if you do move this okay that's it okay there that error if you do try and move this bindable here to put it here where we normally put the state and the rest you're going to get an error right cannot use instance member here right so you need to pass it here right so come here cut this and put it within the body right so that is that so that is a high level overview of how you could use observable and like um i said at the beginning we have a whole project here where i where we build um a swift ui e-commerce app and we use observable all through the first 12 hours of the 26 hour project are available on youtube for you to have a look at and you can just consult the um the link in the description below for the entire thing Thank you for watching, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next video.